Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at the relative minor, the relative major, talk about minor keys a bit. And A minor is what we're doing today. A minor is where it's at. We're going to go ahead and look at the A natural minor, A harmonic minor, and A melodic minor. This key is one of my favorites and you've probably heard many songs or pieces in this key. I'm going to play two small excerpts and I'm pretty sure you're going to recognize at least one of them. Let's try it. All right, in order to find the relative minor key, there's a few ways of doing it, but I'm gonna keep it simple because this is a video for new learners. C major, we're gonna go up a sixth, which is A, we're calling A now our root. So now from A to A is our new scale. They're related because they're the same exact notes, except what's really cool is you change the pattern so the quality changes in regards to sound. That's A natural minor. You can see on the screen how the steps are different. We're also going to take a quick look now at A harmonic minor. One change, just one note changes, but I think it has a very strong change, and that is the seventh note is sharped. Check it out. Hear that? G sharp. The seventh note is sharped. Stay sharped. You might have noticed I played the first piece. You can see now on the screen, the little messy red circle there. Beethoven is utilizing that A harmonic minor. You have E, G sharp, and B. That's a five chord, and we're using the harmonic minor because that G sharp, it's a very strong pull back to the root. I'll play the phrase before that. you have that strong leading tone to the tonic, the root. By the way, if you're getting value out of my videos, you're getting value out of this lesson, it helps the channel out great if you consider hitting the like button because it reaches other people like you. Let's take a look at the melodic minor scale. And again, I'm keeping this for beginners. So the melodic minor scale, we raise the sixth and seventh, and then we are going to make it natural going down. Here we go. Natural, going down. All right, now it's your turn. I am going to play a scale. You got to tell me if it's a natural minor or a harmonic minor or a melodic minor. Hint, think about those degrees near the ascending part of the scale. Here I go. This is what I played. natural. Okay, here I go again. See if you can tell if it's a natural, harmonic, or melodic. This is what I played. That was melodic. All right, one big part of the review is to see if you know the next scale. I'm gonna play the next key, I'm gonna play G major. Can you find the relative minor? Do you remember what you need to do? Go up A6. And you can leave a comment if you wish, there's a few other ways of doing it, might help learners that way too. All right, we're now shifting the note, E as our one chord, E minor. So if you're able to follow along and get that, that's a really good sign. I have a question for everybody. Let me know if you would like more of these lessons, especially if you want to get down some minor keys. Let me know in the comments because I'll be happy to build a playlist for all the wonderful learners like you. 
Speaking of minor, I have a chord progression right here that's minor chords, and you can definitely check that out. Until next time, I wish everyone well. Bye for now.